said, we've got Bayushi Noman versus Suzutron for this final match. It's going to be very exciting, I think. Now, I got to say, I feel a little bit ridiculous that we have not oh. acknowledged the giant pride parade that is going down the street oh, behind I meant, us right I, now. I actually mentioned oh, it at the you? beginning okay. of the... Yeah. So it looks like the rain is let up now, so people are out there dancing in the street. It looks like everyone's having a great time. The other side of the board game room looks like it's been tur turned into the viewing gallery. Of the oh, yeah, yeah. Up I was, the wedding, oh, yeah. When, watching when the parade. People don't know the, the Toronto Pride uh, Parade is one of the biggest ones in the world, I think. And uh, it's, it's something that if you're visiting in Toronto during the uh, Canada Day weekend, or I think it usually tries to fall in the weekend before Canada Day, I think. Yeah, usually the weekend like before. Yeah. Yeah. So if, you, if you're in Toronto, it's definitely something you should come and check out. So we got uh, Ronnie is the first player, plays uh, Cautious Scout passes. Zach goes all in on base. She showed you with three fate. So we'll see what uh, Ronnie does here. <laughs> uh, that was kind of lucky for, for Zach. Yeah, it's not the where he needs the uh, Cautious Scout ability this round. Now, Ronnie does have a favorable ground. He could just pull his Cautious Scout back. Um, if, if he doesn't pull his Cautious Scout back... <clears throat> And Zach doesn't commit. He can try at least to, he can at least try to buff it to break, but that's very risky. Zach um, has three assassinations in his deck. Just uses uh, one of them two, right there. Two left. Oh, that's just a uh, no. I had two two left after that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cami unleashed. Wow. With a fade on it. Crazy. And yeah, Ronnie. Uh, Ronnie forgot that meditations <laughs> when, the, oh. when the when the Ronnie's not feeling good. When the cautious scout, here. yeah, when the cautious scout went away, the meditations turned back on. Uh, Kaibosh99 asks if there's, those are burger tokens that Zach are using for honor. I don't know what the burger honor tokens look like. I don't know. I guess we could ask Zach afterward. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, fortunately. I do know that the rings that, that you're seeing on camera right now, I think he won those at the, the first Grand Cote, I think it was, of, of the yeah. Toshi Rambo season. The Philly one? Yeah, I think it was. I don't know if that was the first one, but yeah. Anyway, that was a quick break by uh, by Zach. Pulls a pulls a calling in favors. <laughs> Zach was trying to look for the. Zach was trying to look for the um, the noble sacrifice from Ronnie's hand. Uh, do you lose an honor? For undefended. I don't feel like he did. I I subtracted one, but. So they both bid five. At this point, I wasn't paying close enough attention to be sure, yeah. so I'm not going to change it. Zach is usually pretty on top of those things, so. Well, I feel like we should be, like, this is a match where honor is relevant. Uh, absolutely, but I mean, if if I if we haven't been as attentive to it, then. So interesting play here. Political rival gets to play the combat. Guess the favorable grounds in the Kami Unleashed. We'll get to actually trigger the ring a second time. So yeah. Good move there. Ends up stripping two fade off of Shoju. I'll also say that yes, those are burger tokens, uh, Zach just told me. The honor tokens are burger tokens. That'll be the round. It also means favor for Ronnie.
<laughs> it's just crazy how Zach. I feel like Zach always manages to break a uh, province on turn one, no matter what the situation is. You realize oh. you have to have the, the tempo. Yeah. Well, this is this is lucky for Ronnie. Actually, he got a Kakita Yoshi while he had the favor. <laughs> and and no Shigenjas on Zach's side, so that means there's no uh, Cloud the Mines coming. <laughs> so so Ronnie is very likely to get at least one pull off the uh, Kakita Yoshi trigger here. Now the one thing he does have to be careful about is that he has to. He may have to, if he does end up playing Kakita Yoshi, he may have to uh, only commit him to a defense. Because if he attacks with it, thinking to draw three cards off the thing, then he will he might get hit with Faith Worse Than Death. And there is a Faith Worse Than Death in Zack's hand, too. Use a stronghold box to steal an honor. Way of the crane on Ronnie. That's, uh, Always a smart play. I mean, now if Ronnie really wants to play Noble Sacrifice, he can. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it's safe to say he's not going to be playing that, but it does mean he can attack here with a Voice of Honor in his hand, not having to worry about face worth and de fate worth and death. Although, with the four g dicks, I guess you're never quite that safe. Ronnie has eight eight honor now, right? Oh yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. You defend yeah, Ronnie Ronnie's wondering if he doesn't if he doesn't defend this. Yeah. Alright, so he So that's eight. It's also eight strength on uh, Zach's side. Oh, oh is he, he didn't go with both of them? Oh, he's just on it, right? Yep. And it's nine on. Yeah, I had that. When you said eight, I thought that was... Right, you right. Pulse debate. <laughs> Zach exacts is expressing disbelief at uh, pulse debate actually being played, which is pretty funny. So now he's going to get a look at all his tricks. So calling in favors. There's too many to deal with. Yeah, forged edict. Fate worse than death. Maybe you just take the face. Wor fate worse than death here. Cutting magistrate cloud the mind. Now, now you know what's interesting. I, I saw the uh, I can swim in Zach's hand. Mm -hmm. Actually, I mean, I was going to say maybe Zach should have bid two just so he could turn it on. But there's no dishonored character on Ronnie's side, right? For him to take advantage and of. And knowing, knowing that he can play, knowing that it's there, yeah, he could probably play around it. He's probably gonna have some wave of the cranes if he if he ever that, that is in a bad situation. Yeah, Th that one goblin sneak, one X goblin sneak, is actually pretty funny. Uh, Curious to see which situations he's going to end up using it in. So he's going to go up to 11. Uh, Court Games is going to attempt to dishonor Kakita Yoshi. I guess it's going to be a Court Games in response. And then he Court Games back, yep. Is this going to elicit a Forged Edict? And it looks like it does. So now it's 8 to 8. 7. Or 8 to 8, right, sorry. 
I'm saying eight to seven. He just I has the wrong thing. He's gonna dice. Yeah. Oh no! It's possible that he used Shoujo's ability, and he's actually. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Yep. It's just it's it's hard to uh, with that without them putting a. Uh, I think that's what the um, fate took uh, the uh, honor uh, on him. I see. Yes. Oh, on Kikito. You yes, mean. I see. Going away on the crane. <laughs> now it doesn't look like he has another counter spell for that. So he's going to go to 10. Let me remove another one. Goes to 9, yeah. So Ronnie's still winning. Zach's going to need to do something else. Got some first shames in his hand. Well, fans too, right? You can put a fan on. Could, pan, could could put a fan on the liar Yoshi uh, Soju, but this is what a is this a void conflict? Hmm. Yeah. It's interesting to see. Like Soju came into play last turn with four fate on him. He has none left. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Zach's asking, asking Ronnie if he wants to let go of it. The card. But what Ronnie will do is play assassination on the. A lot of cards going into this combat. Both players here deciding anything else they want to commit to this? Oh. This uh this is a very uh it's a very hard fought void ring. Now So you know what? R R Ronnie doesn't have any money. Otherwise, I think I think I would just have gone for the noble sacrifice now. Really? Yeah. With another turn of Yoshi. I guess. Well, are I, you getting the are you getting the favor back? You're not. I mean, it's still a big body for you to give. Throw yeah, away. I guess so. I mean. It, Zach is only have a military. He only has a military conflict, and he only has a, a Yoshi strength. that's one strength. Yeah. But I would honestly now. I mean, Zach just goes for the air ring, doesn't he? Goes for the air ring, starts pressuring the honor that way. That's pretty good for him, I think. Ronnie's not going to be getting the, he's not going to be getting the favor this turn too, or yeah, he's not going to be getting the favor at the end of this turn as well. Now the other thing he could do is he could go for fire and dishonor Yoshi so that Voice of Honor is turned off. A few different options here, and Zach is also being paranoid about being counterattacked by a conflict character. But, like we said, there's no money. Need money for <laughs> he doesn't have any money. I can't think of a conflict character that costs zero. So many cards. <laughs> and if he's that paranoid, he can always... Uh, I don't know, he can't. I was going to say he could clarity of purpose, but he's already done that. Yep, so military error goes by very easily. Ronnie goes down to three honor. And it's actually at eight. Yep.
and I think uh, Zach should be at seven honor now. Because I, I think uh, Shoju was dishonored when he left play. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's true. Yeah. Again, it, it is relevant just because... I'll call it now. Yeah. Because of the box, too. Well, not the box, but... Things are winding down here at 401 Games. Uh, again, this is going to be the last round of the event. The winner of this game is uh, most likely going to be the winner of the event. Uh, also, was well, not guaranteed. Isn't it guaranteed? Was there another? No, no, it's player? guaranteed. But uh, I'm curious. I mean, you and I, Travis, know this is probably a foregone conclusion that Scorpion's going to be taking the stronghold for this season. Uh, but um, I'm actually not sure. No, I think there was an outside chance. I don't remember. They were only... Uh, oh, they were five games ahead. So Crab was five games behind. Theoretically, would have been possible, but I don't think... Not with... Uh, yeah. Now with Zach winning all his games. I don't know how the other Scorpion did fare today. So turn three, and you've already gone to the one bid phase. <laughs> yeah. A huge resource advantage for. Zach at this point. have the board advantage here, so see what he right. can get done. Yep. Safely going to meditations now, I think, with his 11th strength Yoshi. What, uh, why water ring? Is it because there was two fade on water ring? Is that why? Yeah, I, th I think that might have been the reason why. Was that undefended? It was undefended. Okay, so he's at five honor now? That's right. All right. And, yeah. Now, I wonder if maybe Zach just goes for military air here. Or political... <laughs> I guess I guess doing political conflict here, as long as Kikita doesn't get buffed, he's not going to be able to steal honor. Well, but the, but the problem is even if if uh, Ronnie steals the honor, Zach can just box it back. Right. It's kind of in bad shape here because. If the fire could just dishonor Kikita and she can't, she can't military back. Yep, for sure. I mean, 
even if Ronnie, uh, even if Ronnie honors Kikita, that social illusionist can just take it away. I mean, if if Zach really wants to push through a an event, he can just use the he can just use the uh, social illusionist to strip away the honor from Kikita Yoshi. So use his meditation to yeah. remove one of the fate. Mm-hmm. And then Plays it, carry to the purpose. Makes sense. Has an opportunity for voice of honor, but. But a four shame, which dishonors. Yeah. So dishonors, and then Zach spends a fate. Uh, I should probably. Another four shame. Sorry, that was another four shame? It was. Okay, so now he's at two, I think? Yes. Yeah. Right. the mine. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Zach, Zach clouds the minds Kikita Asami, but I think I think if he just didn't do it, he could have just box back the uh, thing. Right. The honor. Still, I mean, if Kikita Asami's going to stick around for a while, it's still a good target to cloud. Yep. Court games. Not a bad idea. Going to need something to be, uh, something to open up his uh, voice of honors later. Ronnie, Ronnie also should not forget that he has access to the box. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's clarity of purpose. He can't be bad. Ah, you're right. Yes. Thank you. I was thinking that a few seconds ago. Yeah, well, it looks like Ronnie might be able to get the... Uh, Favor back here, uh, just be, just after Yoshi goes away. Right. All right. For yeah, the illusionist will be able to do, declare another conflict, but it will be susceptible to the uh, stronghold this next time. So without uh, ornate fan, I don't think Zach's going to be able to successfully. A swing in here. Right. Couple of sneak. All right. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's just doing this for a military attack, right? I guess. So, Goblin Sneak, when your opponent has uh, nine fate in play, <laughs> doesn't seem like a no. thing that would give a lot of uh, return. No, but you can take a fate off this ring. It's only gonna cost. It only ends up costing you a single fate. Ooh, seeker cash. Give your opponent a card. So I feel like Zach, because he could drew a fine katana, I would just defend with a social illusionist. Maybe. Or maybe I don't, and then you just counterattack air ring. No, you 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 get bowed. Why? Did, uh, sorry, did uh... the counterattack on the air ring? The stronghold can bow him before he can do anything about it. Oh, Zach already did a uh, military attack. Yeah, that was his, his first attack was military. Right? Ah, okay. All right, I missed that. Was it not? I can't remember. I mean, looking at the rings. I see two claimed political rings oh, yeah, no, on, would it be a, on sorry, Ronnie's you're right, side. You're right, right, you're right. It would be a yeah. military. My bad. Yeah. So, right. It looks like an atta attempted assassination and a voice of honor response. Yep. So, Bonsai bringing that. Oh, sorry. I forgot to. Can you, can you bring up the string? That's right. Yeah, well, my thing is not. So, is the Goblin Seek dishonored? No, that's no, no, a, a fate. That's what we were talking about. This, these, uh, with the way the light reflects off the uh, the fate coins, it's hard to tell if it's a dishonored token or not. Ooh. So, this is a cunning magistrate. Is this coming into the conflict? Most likely. So cunning magistrate with two fate. Okay. 
way the scorpion to dishonor. So now that's going to uh, effectively shut off the goblin sneak. Everyone goes home. C Cunning Magistrate, not a card normally played in uh, <clears throat> at least a lot of the competitive Scorpion decks I've seen listed on Five Rings DB. Just that play alone, just being able to come yeah. in and then we have the Scorpion. I mean, it's a pretty easy way to turn off a lot of strength. Yeah, so that's gonna let uh, that's gonna let the social illusionist do a military conflict. Meditations of the Tao. Already been used this turn. The Tao, rather. <laughs> so yeah. Brings uh, in a steward of law with a fade on yeah. it. So so right now, um Zach has zero zero force, right? That's correct. Yeah. Now I guess Zach is wondering whether he should play uh yeah, Zach is wondering whether he should play that fine katana or not. He might as well. And there it is. Yeah, he, he was just uh, he was calling Ronnie on whether he had a uh, another for shame. for shame or not. I think he does have one more, doesn't it? And you know what I see? I see a spicy consumed by five fires in uh, Zach's hand. Oh man, maybe he'll maybe he'll use it next turn. So what happened? The end of the round? Yeah. Okay. So the Yoshi went away, got gained a fate, uh, got gained an honor. Getting rid of the scout, okay. Or not getting rid of the scout. Trying to make up his mind. Mm hmm Yeah. The time for cautious scout has passed. I'm sorry to say. Doji representative. Whisper. Asahina artisan. A bunch of fawning diplomats on Zach's side. Yeah. And not the greatest flat, flat for Zach, but... Not, I'm not sure what I would buy here. You have a social illusionist, so you have that Shigenja already for the consumed. Maybe if if I was in Zach's shoes, I would I would probably play yeah favored niece and then most likely pass. And now Ronnie's wondering if he just straight up passes or not. I mean, part part of me really wants to see this. Wants to see uh, Ronnie put a bunch of fate on guys just so he could get consumed by five fires. <laughs> uh, Ronnie seems to be obliging with an artisan with one fate on it. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, it's still not enough fate for yeah. it to matter. And I think I think uh, Zach just passed there. Oh my gosh. I guess it might happen. On the other hand, um, you know what Zach could do here? If, is Zach... Sorry. Oh, okay, so... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they should both have three here. Okay, so there's a, there's a conversation on the... Yeah, there was a conversation at the table about how much honor they should there have. There you go. That makes sense. So, 
Zach was at four. Ronnie was at two. Zach. And then two of his two guys away, went away. And then he swa- yep. No, no. This is this, this, this turn. Beginning of the turn, Zach had four. Ronnie had two. Uh, it was a three to one bid. So, Ron, uh, so uh, Zach goes to four. Yes, Ronnie goes right. to two. Zach steals. They both go to three. You mean Ronnie goes to four, Zach goes to two? Yes, sir. Yep. Very quiet in here now. Thanks, Paul. Uh, we love doing uh, L5R coverage and hope to be doing so, some more uh, in the coming months. Uh, next month is a lot of store championships and regional championships. So we've got regional championships for Netrunner coming up on July 21st. Uh, I believe we have the uh, X-Wing store championships. That would be on the... 15th, I think. 15th? Yeah, 15th. Yeah. And then Destiny, I think, is on the 22nd. And then Armada on the 29th. Yep. Yeah, that's right. So I don't know I don't know if there will be an L5R our event next month. We'll see. Uh, and I don't know if, if there is, if we'd be covering it. I uh, just want to try to do store championships at regionals if we can. Well, we're wa- are we waiting on the Season 2 kits still? Season 2 kits in. Oh, yeah? Yep. It's the only season two stuff that's out so far. So yeah, I guess we should pay attention to what's happening in the game. <laughs> Victor, and, Victor and I are starting to fall asleep a little bit. It's been a little bit of a long day. So, all right. So, so this is... Uh, what? This is a social illusionist. Okay. And Kikita Sami. So I'm gonna guess this is two, three to six. Uh, so using the favor niece. Yeah, use it twice. Yep. Uh, sorry. What? Who's? Who's in the conflict for? It looks like Soshi Illusionist is in the conflict against Kakita Sami. Yeah. Sami got buffed by the. Yeah, Illusionist. Oh, no, yes. Political yeah. favor. Never mind. Yeah, because of the favor. Yeah, I'm a little slow. It's the busy playmat. It's not your fault. Sure. It's the busy playmat. <laughs> yeah, fate worse than death. This is a lot of pressure now. I mean, this is enough pressure. Uh, yeah, so Ronnie, yeah, he needs to send one back in so just so he doesn't lose one honor for undefended. But I don't think he can do enough. So uh, he has to... Defend this, defend yep. the next one, and also make sure that Zach can't win the Void Ring. Can't win the what? Void Ring. Right. Because he has two characters. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, I can swim. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's, that that's probably why he bid three there, actually. Yeah, I can swim. That's See, the game. Seeing a resurgence, and he's just going to throw in the towel. Jeez. Well, it's just, no, it's because... That's going to be one fate, then it's going to be one for undefended and one yep. for the air ring. So yep. that's the honor of wearing right there. Yeah. Man, so I guess we didn't get a chance to see the uh, we didn't get a chance to see uh, consumed by five fires. No, but we did see some really good player at the final table. Yeah, yeah. I, again, like Zach is the he's the paragon of aggressive scorpion decks here. I think, and uh, every time we see him on camera, I expect a controlling matchup. I expect a long matchup, but. 
he seems to know how to apply pressure in all the right points. And that's uh, definitely turned out well for him. So, yeah, I there think a couple of we... unforced errors there with uh, from unriding at the beginning of the game. Yep. The extra fade on the, the Kami. Um, it's too bad, but uh, congratulations to Zach. 